God, what God has done for you. Amen. We freely tell God, thank you for allowing us to be able to come out one more day. We thank God for each and every one that's present. We thank God for those who weren't able to make it out on today, but we wanting God to go and bless them in their homes or wherever they are today. And we want to certainly tell God, thank you. Thank you, Jesus, just for smiling on us one more time. It's no goodness of our own, but it's through his grace and his mercy that we've been able to walk through the doors one more time. And I just want to tell him thank you for what he has done for us. So surely as the song went forth in praises, he has done and continues to do great things. Amen. We thank God again. We thank God for our sister, Ladafrica, being present today. Glad she's here. Thank God for giving her a safe flight home. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. We certainly tell God thank you for each and every visitor that's out with us on today as well. We're here to do none other than to praise in our Lord and our Savior, Jesus Christ, for the great things that he has done. We're going to have testimony service, and you know what I normally say. Make it short. Amen. Let's do so. And then we thank God for just what he has done. And, and as I lead us in word of prayer as we open, we're going to have Adrian and Sarah to come as they lead us in our devotional part of the service. Those of you who are able at this time, I'm going to ask that you stand. Thank you, Jesus. Father, wash us. Cleanse us and purify us as we come before your throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, as we come this afternoon, it's with much thanks in our heart, God, that you've allowed us to be able to assemble ourselves in your presence one more time. And God, we want to tell you thank you for how you watched over on the past week, us and our children in school. And God, we ask that you go and you be with the families of the, the shooting victims there in Texas. God, it's so sad what our world has come to. I don't know what you look down and see, but even here in this house, what do you look and see? Forgive us when you look and you don't see what the things that are pleasing to your sight. And God, we invite you to come and you be with us throughout our service on today. Bless each song, bless each testimony, bless your word. And God, allow it all to be able to do your, be to your glory and to your honor. And we want to tell you thank you for providing for me, for providing for us a gateway to heaven and a place for where our souls can be at rest in, eternally in heaven with you. God bless us. In Jesus' mighty name I pray and I thank you. Amen. Let's welcome Adrian and Sarah as they come. Truly, we thank God for allowing us to make it back one more time. We thank God so much for all of our beautiful visitors. So good to have you with us. I always want to thank God for my special brother being here. And I still thank God for the one that's not here. Want them to know we miss you. We love you. All of our saints and friends that are not able to be here with us physically, we want you to know we miss you. Truly, we thank God for knowing that this is a house where deliverance lives. And I'm so glad one day I found out that I was the problem. For years, I made it look like God can do what he can do. But when I got in a position and told my own self down, God was right there. So I'm glad this morning to know that this is a house of deliverance. Doesn't matter what your issue is, God can fix it. We're not going to belong the time. We're going to give it over to our sister. And thank God so much for this opportunity. Thank God for one more Sunday in his house. Ask that God, watch me as I sing. Thank God also for the Bible study lesson on Tuesday. How important are our praises? Ask that God, help me to praise him every day. Ask that he watches as we sing. Let us all go back to the old landmark. Now let us all go back to the old.
can stay in the service. Now preachers preach the word. Preach it in the old time way. Now preachers preach the word. Preach it in the old time way. Now preachers preach the word. Preach it in the old time way. Now we will stay. so lost. When I looked up, I was by myself. Took myself so far away from this holy place. When I need to cry, who's gonna be there? When I need a hand, who's gonna be there? Nobody but the righteous. Nobody but the righteous. Praise a prayer because they're real. In their heart, they Tell Sarah, don't you forget what you did. You can't live ordinary because you didn't do something ordinary. You can't live ordinary. You got to go back. What you put love through. Think about the cost. You had no business walking away. You had no business walking away. Business, walking away. But when God opened the gates and say, Come on in, you can't walk back. Ordinary, you can't walk back. You got to know your sins are over your head. God, I don't deserve to be here. I don't deserve to be here. I can't walk in here. Ordinary, this not an ordinary Sunday, just another Sunday. I'm going to church. Who do you think you are? You don't deserve to be in my place. Praise them like you don't deserve it. Praise them like you don't deserve it. Shout it up. Shout it up. Everybody. So happy in the service of the Lord. But I want to honor God for the call that he is calling for the men. And I want to tell God today yeah. that I thank him for true friends. Yes. Those who want the will of God to be done right. Yes. That's right. 
those who want God's will to be done right. Yeah. And I'm here to take God. God, I don't want the praises of me. Yes. That's right. I don't want the praises of me. Yes. That's right. I thank God for my brother Donna. Yes. And I especially thank God for my brother Adrian. Yes. That's right. He shared something that if you just be in the right way, it'll make you fall to your knees. Yes. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. God help me to be man enough. To follow the righteous. Yeah. Help me not to try to be a big man. But help me to fall down and follow the righteous girl. The example that you showed me since I was born. God, God. As time is running out. God, I don't want the praises of me. That's yeah, right. Yeah. That's right. I want the example. Yeah, that's yeah. right. Yeah. That you placed me. Yeah. Yes, Lord. Thank you. Amen. I'm here to take it all off the day, y'all. Yeah. God is calling a few men yeah. to follow him. Yeah. Yeah. I thank God for Brother Donna. Yeah. For him Amen. being a good example. Yeah. Thank you. And I thank God for you, Adrian. Yes. I know I say I thank God for my special brother, but it's it's some power in his life. Yes. So I'm thanking God in a special way yes. for what was shared with us. Yes. Thank God for my special brother, Donna, yes. who's already walking. Yes. But he's mad enough yes. thank you. to follow the righteous. Yes. The way. That's right. That's right. God. God is moving for those who can hear. And God, I'm telling you, before the people, I want to stay down. Let those who've already walked the path, let them lead me. I don't want the praise of me. I've seen all my life. Somebody live for God. That's right. That's right. That's right. Not worried about man. That's right. Not worried about a hoop or a holler. That's right. But they worried about God. Yes. So God, I tell you today, I don't want the praises of men. But I want to be man enough to follow the righteous. I praise God today. brother just told us and I too same <laughs> desire in my heart as well. Thank God for what he's done. Thank God for what he continues to do. And we certainly tell God thank you for all the testimonies that we've had. And at this time we're into the hands of our issues as they come. Just lift your hands and say 
Thank you, Lord, for all that you've done and all that you do. And Father, we want to tell you thank you for this offering that we have received. And God, we ask your blessing upon it. Bless each and every one that gave. And God, we just want to tell you thank you for all the many miracles and marvelous things, deliverance that you have brought forth and wrought. In Jesus' name we pray and we thank you. Amen. We thank God for what he continues to do for us at this time. We have a special presentation, and I know I'm going to give you a few minutes. Brother Tony's going to come forward. He has something, but somebody went to go get Brother Donald. Tony? Okay. So as soon as Brother Donald come out, we'll, 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 we'll take it. Certainly tell God, thank you again for what he continues to do. Thank God for our brother Donald and what he does for us. I know that he probably feels, brother Donald, we're looking for you to step forward. <laughs> oh, he's coming through the front. Okay. I know he doesn't think he's deserving of, but we just want to show you that we love you. <laughs> Come on down, brother Donald. <laughs> Amen. Yes. <laughs> amen, amen, amen. And at this time, we're going to turn it to our brother Tony. Thank you. Thank you all for being here today. And truly, this is out of my comfort zone. <laughs> but for the spirit.
special occasion, I'm willing to do what I need to do. Thank you, Brother Don. First, we're going to give all glory to God and to the one whom God has used to lay this beautiful foundation. We thank God for all of the wonderful testimonies and things that God has already done. You know, uh, today we're here to honor someone whose heart is for God and for this ministry. What does faithful mean? The dictionary describes faithful as being loyal to someone or something. The faith, uh, to be faithful is to remain steadfast, consistent, and considerate, and so much more. Uh, faithfulness comes from a place of loyalty and trust. The word of God says to give honor to where honor is due. And today, Brother Donald, we're honoring you. We praise God for how you have given, how you have grown in Christ over the years. Because of your faithfulness to this ministry, God has given you a burden for the work of God. He has entrusted you a pivotal, a pivotal point to handle the church affairs. And your willingness to give yourself up to the building of the household of God is truly, truly an example of God's love. We cannot thank you enough for your love, love in God, your faithfulness, Labor of love to this ministry. Thank you for your work ethics, for your desire to teach others to love God, to work hard, to give back to the ministry that has given you so much. Thank you for being the right hand and an unwavering support to leadership. Always ready at any given moment to handle any task sent before you. You are willing to do whatever you are asked to do. On behalf of leadership and the Saints of God House of Worship Church family, we thank, we thank you. We thank God for what you have allowed him to do in your life and for your faithfulness to this ministry. We know there's only one Brother Dawn. We love you and we praise God for you. May the Lord richly bless you and keep you. That's our prayer. Yeah. Amen. We thank God for you, brother. And it says, in appreciation for your faithfulness, hard work, and dedicated service to the saints of God, house of worship, Proverbs 3, verse 5 and 6. We thank God for you, brother. Now we have, we have, we have something else for you. <laughs> A token of love. We thank God for you, brother. Thank God for being that example. We know you don't take, we know you just so humble that you won't just take them, but we thank God. Yeah. And I, right now, I just wanted to ask and see that I love them more than I have anything to say. Love you, Brother Don. Yeah. That's what we're ringing inside of me. Yeah. I love you, Brother Don. I'm not saying it before the people. I tell you all the time how much I love you and how I thank God for you. I can say you've been there for me. And I thank God for you. May God bless you. And may the Lord 
lead and guide you to become even a more person like Jesus. I love you, son. God bless you. given to me through the years. And those things were things when I was so wrong. Yeah. And finally woke up and realized that all those things that I'd written down to be able to see them from my heart how much she loved me. Yeah. For standing up against me. Yeah. And standing up against me still loving me. And that's, that's what condemned me even the more. Yeah. But I thank God for what we have and who we have. I tell you, uh, I say it a lot. We don't. We some blessed people. Yeah, that's right. That's right. That's right. You look in the Word of God. There are just a few servants that we read about. That's right. And God has given us one in our life span. That's right. That's right. Amen. And all the more I want God to show me from within what I truly have. Yeah. Amen. And I just truly thank God for your mama. Thank yeah. God for everyone. The yeah. man surprised me. And when he told me Tony wanted to see you, I thought something was going on. I just didn't know what was going on. <laughs> and and uh, I see him outside, and they say he, he's coming here. Uh, but I, I just truly thank God. It's totally, totally unexpected and so undeserving. So undeserving because of what someone had to put into me to be able to wake up. Late and it's real late. Yeah. And then we all who want to see and like allow God to stir us up. It's time to get on the move. Right. It's time to take down. Yes. It's time to get right with God. Yes. Amen. Truly thank God for Mama. Yes. Thank you, Brother Adrian. Yes. Told he did surprise me all this week. <laughs> <laughs> wow. But I, I just thank God for being here. Thank you all for giving me this I was cherish this yeah. to the day I die. Yeah. Amen. I just truly thank God for these scriptures. Because these scriptures mean a lot to me. They were given to someone else. But somehow God allowed me to begin to absorb what he was saying in his word. Trust in him and not in myself. Because yeah. I did that so many different times. And it led me so many wrong paths. Not just in total sin, but away from sin away from God. Amen. I just really thank God for, for just being here today and just, just so undeserving of this. But I just thank God. Just thank God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> I thank God for keeping me because I have a problem with reading in front of people. But God bless me. And it was well, and I thank God, because Brother Don is special to me. And I know I heard yesterday how he's been special to so many of us. And I know he's special to the one that leads. I thank God for being here. But Donald, before you step out, I want to recognize one other person, and that's Adrian Wright. Yeah. I want to recognize him because he, along with Brother Tony, have a love for you. And they were the ones that, whose idea it was for us to honor you yesterday. Adrian, along with Tony. So I want to tell him, thank you. Thank you, Adrian. We love you.
thank God for Adrian Wright. Amen. Yeah. thank God for what he's done. We thank God for enabling us just to show a token of our love for what our brother does, especially Adrian as well. And for mother, you know, we thank God for them. I thank God for the foundation that's been laid here, a foundation of love that we can give back just a little of what God has given us through the investment that he's put in each of our lives. Thank God again. Amen. We praise you. Finish. I'm finished. Praise you. <laughs> Amen. At this time, we're going to have our prayer list read. And after the reading of the prayer list, I'll be doing the prayer. Thank God for our prayer hour. We thank God for this time. We honor God for him seeing fit in the need years ago to establish this time in the service. And we thank God for whom he was able to establish it with and through. Because in that, we know so many prayers have reached heaven and have came back answered because they were effectual, fervent, righteous prayers. And we want to tell God, thank you for that. And we're looking to the Lord to bless our prayer list again on today. And um, those of you who are able, I'm going to ask that you be with me as we go before the throne of grace. Thank you, Jesus. Watch us, Heavenly Father. Cleanse us, God, and purify us as we come before your throne. Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord God, as we come this afternoon, we want to tell you thank you. Thank you, God, for what you continue to do for us in such a late and dark hour. Thank you for keeping watch over our children. Thank you for keeping watch over us. Thank you for watching over those that are not feeling well, God, and thank you for just being who you are. Lord, as we look over our life, I look over my life, it's, thank you, Jesus. If you were still, we were still back in the days when mercy doors wasn't open, how long ago would we, I, be already be in the grave? But I wanna tell you, thank you for giving us a chance and opportunity to come and to have things right with you before it's eternally too late. And God, we ask in the name of Jesus that you continue to watch over us and to keep us, keep us on our jobs, keep us in our homes, because it's not us and our alarm system that keeps us protected. It is you, the almighty God. And Father, we ask that you bless this prayer list on today. You've heard the names read, and you know everybody where they are in their situation, because you know all men. We're asking you to look down once again and to bless in the mighty name of Jesus. By your power and by your spirit, we ask that you go in each and every direction. And whatever it is, God, that you can do upon your arrival, we ask that you do it. And God, we realize also there are some men that you won't be able to do anything for because they simply don't want the blessings of God from on high. But God, those that are able and willing to receive it, we ask that God that you go that direction and do for them what they can't do for themselves. Help them to see that their sin or loss in need of a savior if salvation is needed. And whatever else they need in their life, give it to them. In Jesus' mighty name we pray and we do thank you. Amen. Thank you, Lord. walk we face many battles but they're not yours they belong to the Lord put on the armor of God delight yourself in his way don't it's too late the Encourage my mother. Yes. Hold on, my brother and sister. Yes. They 
world escape for you and for me be strong stand on his word God has promised to fight every word of your battles don't you give up it's too encouragement enough to go on. We certainly tell God thank you for that song of praise from our choir. At this time, we're going to have our announcements read.
Scripture is coming from St. Luke chapter 17. Start reading at verse 15. Luke 17 and 15. St. Luke chapter 17 and verse 15. St. Luke 17, verse 15, reads as follows. And one of them, when he saw that he was healed, turned back and with a loud voice glorified God. Verse 16, and fell down on, at, and fell down on his face at his feet, giving thanks. And he was a Samaritan. Verse 19, and he said unto him, this is the Lord, Arise, go thy way, thy faith has made thee whole. We thank God for healing not only the sin sick, but those physically sick as well. Thank God for the reading of his word back in the hands of the choir. Tragedies are commonplace all kinds of diseases people are slipping away the economy's down people can't get enough pay but as for me all i can say is thank you lord for all you've done for me yes Yes, Lord. Folks without homes living out in the streets. And the drug habits, some say they just can't beat. Muggers and robbers, no place seem to be safe. But you've been our protection every step of the way. I want to say thank you, Lord, for all you God for me, hey, 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 it should have been me, you. outdoors, you. with no food, you. and no clothes, you. oh, just a love, you. without a real friend, you. oh, just another number, you. with a tragic end, but you didn't see fit Thank to let none of these things be. Because every day by your power, you. you keep on, you keep on Thank keeping you. me. And I want to say, Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Georgia is protected. That's why all the Georgia is 
it was a teacher like me. It was a teacher like me. Just show it up for a while. Don't know that's gonna be here. Thank you for pretending. Thank you for pretending it. That could have been bad. You don't know where you're gonna be. God, thank you for putting me in a place. Somebody can reach God. It protects your life. Your natural life, your spiritual life. That touched me so y'all. I need to say thank you. I got to say thank you. I am the one to run back. I got to say thank you. This world is so dark. It's so evil. You can't even go to work. It was a teacher like me. Thank you for protecting me, Jesus. Thank you for protecting me, Jesus. Thank you for protecting me. Thank you for protecting now. Oh, the children. So many evil spirits. I see them every day. You don't look at children anymore. Like children. You look at who here to hurt somebody. Who here to hurt somebody. Protecting me, Jesus. All the children. Every job there is. You protect us, Jesus. Thank you for one more chance. Thank you for one more chance. Thank you for holding us. Thank you for loving us, Jesus. I need to say thank you. I need to say thank you. I need to say I need to say thank you. I need to say thank you. I need to say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Oh, all you done for me. Thank you for his divine protection. And as Sarah was singing too, surely we want God to be with the victims and their families. And then even the young man that did the shooting, his family, what they have to go through now as a result, you know, some of them we want God to bless them all. And thank God for keeping us because we're not exempt but because of God's protection, he keeps us and has protected us. And we want to say thank you. Come now to this portion here. We're going to go before the word of God. Let the word of God come. We just tell God, thank you for blessing us on today and all that he has done thus far. Thank him for being so kind to us. The Lord knows if he wasn't patient and long suffering, where would we be? If it wasn't for his goodness and his mercy. Thank God for that. Let us stand as you are able at this time <clears throat> as we go before the Lord in a short word of prayer. Wash us, Heavenly Father. Cleanse us, God, and purify us as we come before your throne. Father, in the name of Jesus, Lord God, as we come, we ask God that you come and you bless us as we go into your word. And God, speak to our hearts concerning the things you would have us to see. And we just want to tell you thank you for what you've done for us through your son on Calvary. Thank you, God, for giving us a propitiation for our sins. Thank you for your son shedding his blood, and thank you for that sacrificial lamb. Bless your word. In Jesus' name I pray and I thank you. Amen. Amen. <clears throat> Turn your Bibles to Proverbs chapter 3. Proverbs 3 and verse 13. Proverbs 3 and verse 13. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 13. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 13.
Happy is the man that findeth wisdom, and the man that getteth understanding. Amen. From that verse of scripture there, my subject today, wisdom is precious. Wisdom is precious. We thank God for the wisdom that he gives. And this wisdom here that we're, we're looking at comes from none other than God above. I know in my experiences, I've heard people say because someone has lived a long time that they have wisdom when they share different experiences and knowledges that they have gained from those experiences in life. But the world's wisdom comes from life experiences often having traveled a road of sin. It is not the same as the wisdom of God, which we have knowledge apart from sin. There is a huge difference. The wisdom that God gives, one does not have to travel sin road to learn valuable lessons. And the wisdom that God gives, you're able to learn valuable lessons and experiences that can help even the sinner man if he or she so chooses to follow the principles given. This wisdom is precious. And if a person is able to have it, you have something more valuable than anything this world has to offer. And I know we think about how in the world they push and drive being successful in jobs. They push and drive and being successful in other things of the world. But wisdom says, if you really want to be successful, get Jesus. And you can be the most successful person there is. Because what the wisdom of this world drives a person to be successful in a job and a career and through educational and different things such as those, it leaves out the fact that one day our souls will have to depart this world. And the word of God tells us, what does it profit a man to gain the whole world and die and yet lose his soul? Or what can you give in exchange for your soul? But wisdom says, if you have me, you have a treasure up in heaven. Wouldn't you rather have that? I know I would. It says happy, meaning blessed, is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that get it understanding. And what we need to know is the wisdom and the understanding we get, we gain concerning ourselves. And to see, I am my worst enemy. I will cause myself and others as well sometimes more trouble and headache than I'm even worth to shake a stick at. But wisdom says, if you get me and you follow my guidance and if you follow my instructions, you can avoid yourself so many downfalls, so many pitfalls, if you would follow me. It says happy, that's something, isn't it? Happy is the man that findeth wisdom and the man that get it understanding. Why? Verse 14. For the merchandise of it is better than the merchandise of silver and the gain thereof than gold, than fine gold. Amen. We know those are precious elements of the earth. And they are valuable. They're worth a lot of money. Gold, silver, if you get it and you find it. Because you think about the different gold rush that happened out in California where people would run out there hoping to strike and find gold to be rich. But what you do when, when you look at gold and silver and that's all your focus is on, you're only thinking about the temporary. You're only thinking about the here and the now. And this is what you have to look at that wisdom wants you to know. You can have valuable money and assets such as that, but that cannot buy you into God's heaven. Your soul is worth far more than anything this world has to offer. So you will need that which God has for each and for every one of us. For the merchandise, the gain of it, is better than the gain of silver 
and the gain thereof than fine gold. Verse 15. She is more precious than rubies, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. Praise the Lord. And it's a lot to desire in this world when you look at it. And it says she, it personifies her wisdom here now. And it lets you know she is more precious than rubies. All the precious gems were listed. Gold, silver, the rubies. Thank you, Jesus. And I've seen on the, on the show, on TV, how people would go out, out west somewhere there, and uh, they would go digging for gems, and they're able to find it. And finding one gem sometime when they washed it off, the rock and the, out of the clay, they find millions of dollars worth of jewelry to make themselves rich. But wisdom is saying it doesn't matter how fine a gold you have, it doesn't matter how pure the silver is, it doesn't matter how valuable the ruby is, what is more valuable is having wisdom that when you come to die, you will be able to depart this life in peace. You'll be able to leave this life and live a life pleasing unto God. Wisdom is a wonderful and a precious thing to have. And wisdom, thank you, Jesus, far surpasses any education, anything man has to offer, and anything we think is more valuable and we put there more precious than, root, than, than wisdom. She is more precious than rubies, is 15, and all the things thou canst desire are not to be compared unto her. What does she offer? Verse 16. Length of days is in her right hand, and in her left hand riches and honor. Lord have mercy. You chase the wrong thing. You go after yourself. You go after things you desire. You go after things that are hurtful to you. You go after things that people say, well, you need this, you need that, and whatever it is you desire for your own self. And, th and then when you get it, you find out I am still a miserable creature. Yes. When you get it, you find out I'm missing something in my life. Yes. You find out that none of those things really, really matter. And then as I was studying this, I thought about my own life. I remember there came a point in my life, not knowing that I believe God was, conviction was coming upon me. I, I was, I was uh, stationed here. And I remember going back to the barracks one night and I was miserable and I began to search for things. I said, well, I'm gonna go to school. I sent up to in Kentucky to get my transcript to go to college. And some things say, I'm gonna go, I'm trying to save money. I'm, I mean, I've chased all the things that you would think would bring satisfaction, but I found no satisfaction in those things that I chased. I found none. Just like what you see here, you got merchandise, the gift of, a gold and silver and precious jewel. You can have it all, but at night when you lay down and it's just you and your decisions yes. and what you've decided for yourself and you see the misery yes. of what I've chosen when I don't choose wisdom, when you see the misery, when you choose outside of yourself and you don't run after God, you'll find out something is wrong and something is still missing within my life. When I gave my life to Christ, I remember that Sunday when I went up to, in Lee County, and I gave my life to Christ. The only thing I said, I just want to be saved. I remember it was, I don't know if weeks or months or how much later after I gave my life to Christ. But I remember, I was re reminded, see, that misery, that missing piece in my life, it was satisfied. When you chase after the things of this world, you miss out on God's satisfaction. You can have it all. The rich, the rich young ruler that Jesus dealt with, he came, Master, what must I do to be saved? He knew something was missing in his life, and he realized that, that point because why? The Spirit of God was drawing him. And when God's Spirit draws you, you can have money in the bank. You can have gold in your name. You can have the, the bitcoins and all these different things. But you still realize something in here has not been satisfied. And only wisdom that God gives is able to satisfy it. And this wisdom that he gives is not of this world. It comes from heaven above. Hold here and go to Proverbs chapter 2. Proverbs 2 and verse 6. For the Lord 
God giveth wisdom. You see who gives it? For the Lord giveth wisdom. Uh huh. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Oh, ye simple ones. I'm glad wisdom cried out. Because I needed wisdom one day to tell me who I was. I needed wisdom to tell me one day, uh uh, son, it doesn't matter what denomination you are. What matters is Christ in you, the hope of glory. I thought because of the denomination that my parents was. Eventually, I went and got and joined the church and became uh, baptized over there in Okinawa, et cetera. But I found out water baptism does not satisfy that missing link. Christ in you does. For the Lord giveth wisdom. Out of his mouth cometh knowledge and understanding. Verse 9. Verse 9 in the, the same chapter. Then shalt thou understand righteousness and judgment and equity, yea, every good path. Ain't that wonderful? Look how wisdom guides us. Then shalt thou understand righteousness. We don't understand it on our own because we don't want it. We want our own self-righteousness, and God said that's like a filthy rag. And judgment, justice, and equity, fairness, yea, and every good path. God leads us down those pathways, and I'm glad that he does because I can say to him, through, without his wisdom, I went down every crooked path that I could find for myself, and I found out something was missing. But because wisdom flowed one day with the mouth out of the mouth of God's spokesperson, I was able to obtain knowledge that I was a sinner lost in need of a savior. And I tell God, thank you for sending me to where I can receive wisdom from on high. She is precious. She's more precious than rubies. And all the things thou can desire are not to be compared unto her. Verse 16, length of days is in her hand, and in her left hand, riches and honor. Read 17. Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. Isn't that something? Her ways are ways of pleasantness, and all her paths are peace. I traveled down some roads I thought was going to be pleasurable for myself, but I thought, and I found out I made a big mistake. When you choose yourself and when you choose your own pathway, you're choosing misery. When you choose yourself and you choose your own pathway, you're not choosing ways of pleasantness. You're choosing ways of misery. And when you choose your own ways and your own path, they don't have peace on it. There's nothing but war, turmoil for you as you go down these things. I am so grateful and thankful that wisdom has built her house. And in wisdom building her house, she's given an invitation to the simple ones, to the scornful, to all those that were here. Come, thank you, Jesus, eat of my bread and drink of my wine, which I have mingled. Forsake the foolish. That's me. When you choose yourself, when you choose you, when man chooses himself, that's always the foolish path. Forsake the foolish and live. That's wisdom's invitation. And go in the way of understanding because wisdom has built her house. And I want to tell her thank you that she's prepared a meal that if you hear her call and you turn in unto her, you can leave the house differently than you came in. That day I gave Christ my life. I left, came in a fornicator. I came in a liar and I came in a whole bunch of other things. But that particular day, because I received wisdom's invitation, I ate of her bread and I drank of her wine that she had mixed and mingled. Now, wisdom's wine does not get you drunk and in a stupor. Wisdom wine is the fruit of the vine that you can drink without being out of your mind because she wants you to make the right choice and the right decision. And the right choice is always choosing Christ and the pathway of peace. He says in his word, I am the bread of life, which came down from heaven. And if any man eat this bread, he should live forever. Don't you want a slice? I'm glad I ate mine. And if I have more to eat, I want to eat all the bread God gives me. Because every slice of God's bread will benefit you far beyond your very mind and what you can think of and acknowledge. Amen. Verse 17 here says what? Her ways are ways of pleasantness. And all her paths are peace. And that's something. Bless her. Thank you, Jesus. Verse 18. She is a tree of life to them that lay hold upon her. 
and happy is everyone that retaineth her. When those of you that are saved, when you gave your life to Christ, isn't that when you started living? Is that not when you started living? I know you were living and breathing, but you were a dead creature and you were dead in sin and trespasses. But to know that all your sins have been forgiven because this tree of life has provided for you substance to take care of that wretched soul. This tree of life is a source provided by God for healing and eternal life. When we ate of wisdoms from her tree, that is when we begin to live and to live for God. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Go to uh, Proverbs chapter 8. Eight and thirty-four. Proverbs eight and verse thirty-four. There was also we talked about how wisdom God used wisdom in building the earth and establishing the earth. So that shows to us the importance of it and how important it is. Thank you, G. Your mic messing up. Okay, I'll read it. Amen. Oh yeah, okay. 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 Proverbs 8 and verse 34. Proverbs 8 and 34. It reads as this. Blessed is the man that heareth me, meaning happy, watching daily at my gates, waiting at the posts of my doors. That's wisdom speaking. That person, it shows that they want what wisdom has to offer. Amen? They're so, so ready for it. They anxiously wait daily, waiting at her gate. To know that if I can turn in with wisdom, I can leave out differently than I went in. Verse 35 said, For whoso findeth me, findeth life, and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Amen. That's a blessing there in itself. Thank you, Jesus. To find favor of God is to become someone in whom the Lord delights and whom he blesses. Thank you, Jesus. And I was thinking about when you think about the world's wisdom, and they say, well, you, that person has wisdom. But I found out more times out of nine times out of ten, thank you, that same person they say is full of wisdom. They just as mean sometimes as mean can be. But I found a person that has God's wisdom. They have love, care, pity, and compassion. And they know how to deal with that wretched man. And I want to tell God, thank you for what he provides through his wisdom. For whoso findeth me findeth life and shall obtain favor of the Lord. Verse 36 shows how deadly it is to reject the wisdom of God. But he that sinneth against me wrongeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. And that's something you see with it. Rejecting wisdom is self-destruction. You're thinking you're having a grand old time, but at the end, you run into nothing but disaster because you hear from God through rejecting his wisdom that he has to say to you, depart from me, for I never knew you. But he that sinned against me roggeth his own soul. All they that hate me love death. Come to God and let him do for you what you can't do for yourself. He's the only one that can give you that wisdom that comes from above, from above because he is wisdom. He's the only one that can save your soul and write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. Remember, the invitation is going out. Come, eat of my bread and drink of my wine, which I have mingled. Wisdom is waiting on you. And she's saying, I'm standing by with my arms wide open, and I will accompany you throughout the rest of your life. And if you choose the path and love the pathway that I've picked for you, you will find yourself gliding through life, not saying hard times won't come, not saying difficult times won't come, but you will look back after you get down that road and you will say, I'm glad I chose what wisdom done for me. I'm glad I did not choose for myself. I'm glad I saw what I've done before wisdom and all my choices were disastrous. All my choices, I'm full of scars. All my choices, I'm hurting with pain and misery that I caused to myself. But wisdom 
showed me that she loved me. Because wisdom didn't look just at the here and now, but wisdom looked and see my soul needs a resting place. And I want to tell God, thank you. Riz wisdom is precious. If God has been able to speak to your heart and he's shown you through his word that you need his wisdom, why don't you come and let him do for you what you can't do for yourself. Let him save your soul and write your name in the Lamb's Book of Life. We're going to ask you to stand to your feet and we're going to ask the choir to give us a song.
nothing else. He's done, he's done. He's done it all. He's done, he's done. I want to thank you, Lord. He's done, he's done. You've done so much for us. He's done, he's done. And I want to tell him thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. You kept the door. Oh! 